Hi, thank you so much for joining me for the third week of Lip Balm Battles. So we're back to tinted lip balms this week. And the first one is new to me. I actually just purchased this. This is the Givenchy um, Le Rouge Perfecto. And I purchased this, this comes in several different shades. I purchased shade four, um, blue pink. And I'm always really partial to these like blue lip colors. And this is it. So, um, here we go. Do you see all the sparkle in there? Let me swatch this. So it goes on kind of like a light purpley blue color. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can really tell on the camera, it is starting to turn pink. So here it is darker. You can see it's more blue. And when I first apply it to my lips, it looks very blue. And then it turns into this um, more of a, a pink berry stain. So, and, and that is how it was described <laughs> online. So I wasn't surprised by the, the color change. But you can see here, my first application is kind of, you know, in the background here, and it's definitely more pink and more blue where it's layered. And it is very sparkly and it's, um, you know, it's uh, multicolored <laughs> sparkles. So they have different colors in there. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, so I really like this color. And I actually have the La Rouge, um, what is this, the Night Noir in Night and Blue, which is also number four. I'm just gonna swatch this next to it for comparison. And so this is Night and Blue. And this one's a lipstick instead. And again, this one starts off very blue um, and then gets more of that berry stain. So here they are side by side. You can see that they're similar. The La Rouge Night Noir has much smaller uh, glitter particles, whereas the Rouge Perfecto, these particles, you can actually feel them on your lips. So they are a little gritty. Um, the lipstick, I don't really notice it unless I've applied a lot. Um, so it's, it's really, you can see like the sparkle in there is very light here. Let me actually apply a better coat of that. There. All right. So for this lip balm, it comes with the pink leather case here and it is tall and slim and you can see this is very thin. So this, in my opinion, uh, acts more, more lipstick like. It's very moisturizing like a lip balm here. You can see how much that color has changed as it has sat. So let me introduce the next one and then we'll look at these colors again. You can see how much they, they change over time. All right, so the other contender is going to be the Fresh Sugar. I'm using the shade Rosé this time. And the Fresh Sugar lip balms, they are an SPF lip balm. They come in many colors. I've used these for years. This one's one of those little um, like travel size ones, but they're actually in a much bigger container. One thing to note about this is I often use these during the summertime and accidentally leave them in my car or I leave them, you know, like in my purse where it's sitting in the sun and they melt. Uh, these are incredibly soft. So they, you know, you gotta be careful for the bullet not to break. And here it is here. So it's a light pink tint to it. Um, but they also melt very easily. So they are the softest lip balm in stick form <laughs> that I have ever had. Um, but here you go. So these are, again, this one in the middle is the La Rouge Night Noir lipstick. So the two contenders are the top and the bottom. So they're both tinted. All right, so um, just something to know, I was out of town when I tested these and we actually went to the lake and did some cold weather things. And it was really cold there uh, to the point where, you know, it was, I think, the high was like 20, but with the windshield and everything, it was below zero. So, uh, you know, I wanted to test them both. I tested them both back to back so they would both be in the same environment. And, um, 
you know, just kind of wanted to see how it was going. Anyway, my filming for these updates and everything, it's much, much darker because we're in like this dark cabin. There's like no real good lighting or anything in there. So just wanted to apologize in advance for the lighting, but um, you can see here what these look like. And um, the fresh rose, you know, that pretty much just looks like a pink tint on your lips. And this one I have actually started here before I left for the trip. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started with the footage and I'll be back with my thoughts. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with the Givenchy. This is the La Rouge Perfecto and I got it in the color four, blue pink. So I've got this really pretty pink leather case and the Givenchy logo. Pull this off. And I haven't used this one before, so this will be a new test. It is a slim stick design, and you can see in there the little sparkles and so forth. So there is some sparkle in here. All right, so skin texture of my lips. Um, it is a little flaky here, so I've got some pieces that are lifting up. Um, the rest of my lip is smooth. It's just this line, essentially, um, that is flaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And you can see it's sticking to the flakes. <laughs> Texture is really creamy. Um, it's actually a lot creamier than I thought. It feels mm, a medium thickness, so it's a little bit thicker than I thought. Obviously, you can see that the color is um, pretty evident. It's more of a bright pink with a hint of blue. Um, so I can definitely see a little bit of uh, a blue tint to it, uh, but it is a, you know, a pink. And I'm feeling like a little bit of tingling on, mostly on my upper lip, but it feels, I don't smell any mint or anything. Um, but as it's sitting on there, I'm starting to get more and more of that cooling feeling on there. So I'll have to look it up and see what's in here that's um, causing that. But mm, texture wise, it feels really creamy. And, you know, I've got my lips are a little flaky, so I can't really tell if I feel any of the glitter particles at all. Um, so I'll try to note that after uh, these flakes kind of come off. But mm, it feels pretty smooth at the moment. So. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys an update. It has been all day, uh, I don't know, 15, 16 hours or whatever. We're um, we're kind of at a friend's house this weekend. And so I just wanted to sh show you guys what it looks like. And this is what the color wears down to. Um, I've reapplied, I think, three times today. So it's pretty long lasting on the lips. And... You know, most of my flakes have come off uh, from my lips before. And um, yeah, every time I do reapply the lips, uh, the lip balm, it is, it gets pretty bright, uh, pretty dark. And then it kind of fades down to this color. I really like this uh, color that it fades down to a lot. So um, I'll be back later and see you there. Okay, so this is what the lip product looks like. Uh, in the morning after I went it all night. So it fades down. I've actually been up maybe an hour and a half or so, you know, brushed my teeth, ate a little breakfast and everything, and there's still this much color that remains. Um, one thing I do want to know is the um, Givenchy lip balm, it feels pretty moisturizing when you put it on, but uh, I'd say it's like a light to moderate level of moisture while you're wearing it. And the glitter chunks, um, they're a little bit larger. So when I first initially put it on, um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was feeling grittiness, if it was the flakes on my lips, but all the flakes came off yesterday and I just had the balm and you could definitely feel the glitter. So um, it's not as finely milled as I would prefer. So that for me is a con. And um, overall, my lips right now, they're... They got a few, a little dry patch like right here, um, but the rest of the lips are smooth. So it's just from here to here is a bit of a dry patch. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, the color that remains, you know, that stains your lips, 
it's a really nice shade. And one of the things I noticed as you reapply this, it gets darker and darker every time you reapply because the stain just, you know, it accumulates. So um, it's not like some lip products, you know, it, it actually will keep accumulating throughout the day and this color really will last. So I have to kind of like scrub it off. So I'm actually not going to wait another day in between because I want to make sure I'm in a really cold climate right now. So I want to make sure everything's, you know, getting the same temperature treatment. And I'm going to um, clean this off and then go ahead and start with the next one. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back. I got most of the color off my lips, but it's not coming off completely. This stuff uh, really does stain your lips a bit, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the next one. So we already know I've got this dry patch right here, but the rest of my lips are okay. And some of the dryness, you know, I was kind of, it's really scrubby on my lips to get the, the color off. So it's actually a bit smoother now. Um, for some, from some physical exfoliation. So what we're going to use this time is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. And I'm using one of the small ones right now. I've actually used these for many years. I've gone through several tubes of these. And one thing, I, just to note, never leave these in your car in the summer because I've ruined several tubes. This is a very soft lip product and it melts very easily. Um, so this one is the rose one and they actually have two new, two or maybe three new flavors coming out. I know one's like a watermelon and there's like a, a lime mint, maybe, and I think there might be another one. I'm not sure. But anyway, this has an SPF of 15 and here is the product. This is the little mini one. They also have a clear version and you know, it has like a, a nice set, you know, it's a, you know, it's technically rose tinted, but it's a little bit more of a, a fruity scent. It's not like a, it doesn't smell like rose <laughs> to me. It smells more fruity, but um, here it is on my lips and it has a really nice emollient feeling to it. It's, um, you know, got a, a lot of slip to it, but it's still like a medium thickness. So it's got a good texture. Just one thing to notice, these bullets. They are incredibly soft. They are very easy to ruin. So I have ruined many over the years. <laughs> so I'll be back later. Thanks. Okay. So it is the morning after I've been wearing the fresh sugar lip balm. I kind of forgot to do another update yesterday, but I think I reapplied it four times yesterday and then once overnight. And you know, it's pretty soft. It's moisturizing. Um, it held up well while I had it on my lips. Uh, by the middle of the night, it started to kind of dry out, um, and this is kind of what's, what's left. So there's no no coating or anything left on my lips, but they are soft. They're, you know, maybe starting to get a little dry here, but not to the point of flaking or anything like that. And like my lips were totally moisturized from the actual product. And um, that's it for now. See, here I'll come in closer. You guys can see. Um, yeah, it's technically feels smooth to the touch. Um, so, you know, no actual flaking or anything. So thanks. Okay. So I'm back with my final thoughts on the lip balms. And before we get into the verdict, I just want to go over a few points about each of these. So the Givenchy Rouge Perfecto, just to note, this does come in multiple colors and I purchased the blue shade because I'm really partial to the blue, but it does have glitter. Not all of them have glitter. And one thing to note, although the glitter looks really small here in the swatch, and you can see it's been a while and the, the lipstick does stays more blue. Um, so this definitely turns this really pretty berry color. Anyway, although it looks kind of small here on my hand, on your lips, you can really feel it. And when I first applied it, I wasn't sure if it was flakiness on my lips that I was kind of feeling or if it was the actual glitter particles. I've worn this um, several days past the testing as well and you can definitely feel the glitter. So it's just something to note. I do think it's a really pretty shade and I really like the color that it is when it's freshly applied and when it dies down. Another thing to note about this is that this color, it really stays. So um, it really dies down to this beautiful berry shade and it creates this beautiful stain on your lips, 
but that stain really isn't going anywhere. So if you're looking for long wearing lip color and you're looking for a lip balm, this is probably a great bet for you. Um, honestly, like I feel like it stays better than some lipsticks because it, that stain really it's not something easy to scrub off. You really do have to actually use like a makeup remover or like totally exfoliate that layer. So um, just something to note that, you know, that is a very long wearing color. And when you keep reapplying throughout the day, it's going to get darker and darker and darker because the stain will build upon itself. So um, that is just a couple notes about the Givenchy. Um, the Fresh Sugar, I noted before that it is incredibly soft. It's very easy to break off in the tube. It's also very easy to melt with heat. You don't wanna like walk around with this in your pocket. I have melted them that way before as well. Okay, so just one more thing that I wanted to mention, the Givenchy Rouge Perfecto, it does seem reminiscent to me of the Dior Lip Glow. And although I didn't test these back to back with um, you know, the Rouge Perfecto and the Dior Lip Glow, this one, it reminds me of that because of the color change. Although I have to say that the Givenchy, it does create more of a lasting color on your lips and I don't have to reapply this as often as the Dior Lip Glow. Um, for me, I just personally prefer the texture of this one better, although it would be better without the glitter. Although I do really like the way the glitter looks. So, you know, just something to note, um, the texture of the balm excluding the glitter, I personally prefer that texture a little bit more than the Dior Lip Glow. The Dior Lip Glow is a little bit, um, I, I guess like a, a softer, waxier feeling to me than this one is. So this I actually think of more, it's more reminiscent of a lipstick that just doesn't go away and stays very moisturizing. So, you know, that that's kind of like how I think with the pigmentation and so forth, that's what makes me think of lipstick with this. And, you know, it's just, it really is a very moisturizing lip balm for, for the quantity of pigmentation. Um, however, onto our verdicts. So moisturizing abilities, again, this is going to last incredibly long on your lips. You do not need to reapply this often. It does provide lasting color. So really good bet for that. However, the grittiness of the glitter does kind of bring it down a little bit. The sugar, the fresh sugar lip balms. Um, and again, I've used several of these. This is just one shade that I have <laughs> right now with me. And this one, you know, it's very soft. It's very easy to melt and destroy. So I kind of go through them quickly. And I forgot to mention, these are like metal tubes and they are a twist. So it, it's like a locking twist, which is really nice for keeping in your purse. So again, the only issue is during the summer, they can melt. So they both kind of lose a point for glitter or for being a little bit too easy to destroy in my experience. And maybe other people don't have that problem. I have actually put these through the washing machine before as well, which you know, is not great, but it actually looked fine afterwards. Um, I, I did not use it though. <laughs> so for moisturizing capabilities, again, I think they are both really good at um, moisturizing. The glitter on this just feels, because of the grittiness, it just doesn't feel as comfortable on the lips as this one does. So I'm going to give the point to the Fresh Sugar for that. Um, overnight, I think they both last it really well. The Fresh Sugar is more of a traditional lip balm, like emollient feeling, whereas this is more, it, it doesn't feel quite as soft and creamy on your lips as the Fresh Sugar. So I think for reapplication, I need to reapply the Givenchy less and it's protecting my lips, but for actual moisturizing capabilities, I feel like the fresh sugar is producing, it is actually like helping my lip quality a little bit more, whereas this is more of a protector and this one might actually help, you know, heal it a little bit. Um, and this does have SPF, which 
some people like, some people don't, but I personally do like to have that in a lip balm. Um, not necessarily all of my lip balms, but you know, I do like to have lip balms with SPF. So I think that's a plus. Overall, I feel like this should be moved more to a lipstick category and this is gonna win the lip balm for this week. So the Fresh Sugar is the winner for this week. And I do really like this one and plan to get it in more colors, including some without the glitter. Um, but because of the pigmentation and so forth, I feel like it's just, uh, you know, it, it's more of a great lipstick base. And this is what the color looks like. It's been about 20 minutes since I applied these swatches. So here's the Fresh Sugar, and you can see that rosy pink there. This is the... Givenchy La Rouge Night Noir lipstick and it stayed more um, more of a purpley blue and this is the Rouge Perfecto lip balm and you can see it turned this really pretty plummy raspberry shade and it's got the pretty uh, micro glitter in there in a whole bunch of, bunch of different colors it's like the confetti colors so I think it is absolutely gorgeous but for moisturizing capabilities I do have to give it to you, the fresh sugar. So thank you so much for joining me and I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next week. Peace.